In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Drawings to create an animated GIF of a pinwheel that you can use for Pinwheels for Peace this year. So the first shape that we're going to use is a rectangle, but we're going to make it square by holding shift while we create it. And I'm going to just use this light blue here, but I do wanna turn off the border and make that transparent. And the next shape that we're going to add is a triangle and we're going to use this first triangle right here. And basically we want the triangle to go from here have a point in the middle here and finish at the end there. So get it to about where you think, and then you can just resize it. The great thing is uh, you have these red guidelines that do help you to line everything up. Move that up a little bit there. And a little bit over, perfect. Now, we're going to leave this color here, but we are going to change the color of the triangle. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into gradient and we're going to make a custom gradient. Now this color over here is going to be the darker color and this color over here is going to be the lighter color. So whatever color um, your top piece was, so the square was a light blue, something like this, I'm going to choose a darker blue. And for this side, I'm going to choose that lighter blue that I had on top. And the last thing that we're going to change here is the angle to 135 degrees and make sure that rotate with shape is selected so that when we go to change the colors of the others, uh, they will have the same style gradient. So we can click OK. And there is our first section. And at this point, you can just squish this down a little bit and hit Control Alt and G. That will group your shape, so that way when you go to select it again, you can hit Control D to duplicate. And we're going to rotate this 90 degrees. And go ahead and assemble your first two pieces. All right, so I can make this a little bit smaller. I want it to fit on my canvas. And at this point, I can also group these two shapes, Control Alt G and duplicate, control D. And now we're going to rotate this 180 degrees. And move this right over here. You can use the arrow keys to adjust. You can also use shift to move it slowly with the arrow keys. And I would highly recommend to group this now because it'll be easy when we go to move it. So control Alt G again. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate my pinwheel just a little bit so that my starting frame isn't perfectly straight up and down. All right, now the next thing is if you would like to change the colors of the pinwheel, I would do that first. And simply just by clicking and again, go into custom gradient and make sure that you follow that this here on the left should be dark and the one on the right should be light. So this one is going to be a light red. When you're done selecting all of your colors, you can go ahead and add a shape to the middle of your design, but just don't forget to group it. And now the last thing that we're going to do is create the stick that the pinwheel sits on. We're going to use a rectangle and make sure that you draw right in the middle here. I'm gonna make sure that that pinwheel is spinning directly in the middle of our stick. And we're going to move that to the back by hitting Control, Shift, and the down arrow. And you won't see it now, but when we go to move everything else, you will see it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is save this first image. So we're going to go to File, Download, and we're going to save it as a PNG so that the background stays transparent. And to rotate this, we can go to Format Options. And the very first option here where it says Size and Rotation, 
click on angle and we're going to move this three times. So if there's 360 degrees in a circle, our first angle is going to be 120 degrees. File, download PNG. And then our next is 240. And make sure that you save this one. And now we are ready to go make our GIF. So I'm using gifmaker.me. I'm going to upload my images. And it shows you your preview right there. And you can change the animation speed by going faster or slower. Somewhere around 200 is a good speed for a pinwheel. We're gonna hit create GIF animation. You can hit view. And then you can actually just click and drag this over back to your Google drawing. Delete that. And here is your animated pinwheel. Feel free to change the background if you wish. And at this point, you can also create a drop shadow on your pinwheel. So we can hit the drop shadow and make that look like it's coming right off the page. And I hope you all enjoy your first virtual Pinwheels for Peace.